What do I think of James Hetfield of Metallica smoking big fat cigars with the fans? How's it going, everyone? You're watching Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com. If at any point in time you like the video, smash that like button. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below. A lot of people don't like seeing James with a big fat cigar in his mouth. He's puffing on that thing, blowing smoke everywhere. He's smoking that cigar. A lot of people don't like seeing him with that big fat piece of tobacco jammed in his mouth. They think it looks bad. They think he's setting a bad example for the future generations. I mean, he's smoking that pipe. Well, in this case, the uh, cigar. And he's sucking all that smoke out of it and exhaling it. And maybe he's not sucking it. Maybe he's just puffing it. But he's got that big fat cigar in his mouth. Look, guys, we know smoking has detrimental effects to your health. We know this. And we know how many youngsters in their late 50s, 60s, and 70s look up to James and may follow in his footsteps. And that's no uh, path to follow for the youngsters. So again, you know, to me, seeing James with a big fat cigar in his mouth it's not a good look. Slash. Slash no longer smokes those pencil cigarettes. Why? Because it's not responsible. To see one of the most iconic guitar players walk up the steps and stand atop a grand piano in a chapel in the middle of a desert smoking a cancer stick. So he stopped. He stopped, just like legendary Faster Pussycat frontman Tammy Down stopped the wildlife that Slaughter sings about. Because it was putting him in the ground, but he also wanted to set a positive example for the dozen plus Faster Pussycat fans all around the world. I don't know. I mean, look, at some point, maybe Bob Rock, Kirk Hammett, Lars Ulrich will sit down with James and say, James, this is not a good look for you or for Metallica. And I forgot the bass player that replaced Jason. I forgot his name. It doesn't matter. The point is, though, is that they're going to say, James, we know you enjoy having that big, fat, brown cigar in your mouth. Or it could be black. I've seen some cigars that are black, so... Let me correct myself. James, we know that you like having that big, fat, black cigar in your mouth. Whether you're puffing or sucking, it's not setting a good example. If you're going to put a big, giant cigar in your mouth, do it in the privacy of your tour bus or your dressing room. Or go to the bathroom. I mean, go to the bathroom, close the door, and put one of them giant phallic cigars in your mouth and just puff to your heart's desire. Bob on it if you want. But please don't set a bad example for the youngsters.